Continuing work on our uh, 95 Harley Road King. This is day four. It is Monday here in Phoenix and um, it's literally 33 degrees out. I'm freezing. I don't like the cold and I'm about to do, uh, I have to repack, inspect and repack the wheel bearings. That's part of the a, uh, 40k service. My number one job I hate the most, packing wheel bearings. I think tires is second. Other than that, I pretty much like everything else, but uh, I don't like really changing tires and I, I can't stand repacking wheel bearings. But it's part of the job and uh, here we go. This looks good. You always want to pack the seals. A lot of places skip this. And then all your new grease just pushes up into the seal and the bearing loses its grease quicker. So that's really the right way to do it. see what someone's done here they've installed the wrong spacer in the wheel this is this one goes on the outside the one that goes in the wheel is different they had them flip-flopped here's the actual correct wheel spacer notice you have a taper here the taper goes down towards the uh, bearing this is the wrong one this would be on the outside I don't know this is some sort of chrome spacer but that's incorrect so we'll figure that out All right, tires in. Now we're going to make sure we have proper alignment on these earlier year bikes. Without the little hole drilled in the swing arm for alignment, you do it off the pivot shaft and you make sure everything's light. We use that little tool here for alignment. Go to the other side. And that is right on the money. You can't get any better than that. I'm going to make sure our belt set 3 8 at 10 pounds and then we'll torque our axle to 60 to 65 foot pounds. We also check the torque of the uh, pivot shaft to make sure that's at uh, 40, 40 to 45 foot pounds. We're testing, we're looking at our uh, belt tension. It's 3 8 to 10. There we go. We got 3 8 to 10 pounds right on the money. That's how you do it. If your shop's doing it any other way, it's not correct. 